Hey guys, welcome back. So, as you saw from that mini intro, we are building a slime block elevator. I designed it myself. It's 3x3, three three, the redstone. So, let's just get straight into this. So, as you can see here, this will be your ground level. And this is where your minecart will go. So, what you want to first of all start off with is a piston facing upwards with a slime block um, in line with your ground level. Then what you want to do is place... An immovable block around all the sides. And now what you're going to do is place a daylight sensor here. Um, so the minecart stays where it is. And then note blocks all around. And uh, any block with a rail on top and a minecart. Then what you're going to do is break the block so the minecart falls in like that. And then place blocks like this and a button like that. And that is your first part done all right now we're just going to do the redstone for the first part so what you want to do is come behind your button and then place a block behind it with a piece of redstone put a redstone torch on on it go two blocks down place a piece of redstone place a redstone torch and then put a piece of redstone there so if we press the button there goes your minecart Okay, now we're going to move on to piston placements. So what you want to do is, including this iron block, go up five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, and do that on both sides. And then at the back here, you want to go up four blocks, place a sticky piston facing upwards with a slime block on top, and then another sticky piston right there, and put a block under it. Okay, so now we're going to do the redstone connection. So what you want to do is... Place a block next to the resin here, with a torch on top, go up one, place a resin torch here so it's off. Now what you want to do is create this shape like that, then go two blocks this way, one block up and one block next to it like that, put a piece of redstone here, put a repeater here on four ticks, and put a repeater facing this way um, from the torch, on to three ticks and then just put redstone here, here and here and then put um, any block here just to block the connection from of this and this. Okay so now what we're going to do is just build the next segment. So you just want to put some immovable blocks like that. Make sure you have one on top of your slime block or this thing won't work. Then what you want to do is go up another five blocks so one, two, three, four, five on both sides and then four blocks like so and then now with the connection just go up one two blocks like that resin torch resin torch one block across one block up and down and place a piece of resin dust then here place a repeater on four ticks and then place a block next to the resin dust with a torch in it one block on top of the torch and place a resin torch there and now I'll just do the same shape as before. Put a repeater here on three ticks. Piece of redstone. Go across one, one up, one across. Place a block there. And then put a repeater here on four ticks. Put a redstone, piece of resin dust there. And a piece of resin dust there. Okay, now quite simply what you're going to do is just put a sticky piston here. A piece of, I mean a slime block there a piston there and put note blocks around the sides so now as you can see if we get in our first one will go our second one will go and now all we have to do is the top so if you didn't notice um, our redstone just flipped around so it started here and then it went to this side and then if you want to go up again then you, it will just go on to the other side and then you carry on such as this huge one here. So now what you want to do with the top is go up five blocks as normal. Four, five. And then connect your platform off of it. So let's go five up again. Five up again. Then what you want to do is come out on both sides like this. Go up two blocks on both sides. And that is basically your ground floor and now we can move on to the redstone.
Okay, last clip, I made a mistake. You don't want to actually go out like this. You just want it to be like that. So you have a three gap. Then place a tripwire hook here, tripwire hook here, a piece of redstone and slabs under them. And just for fun, you can actually put node blocks here. And then just shift and right click. Now what you want to do is go behind this block here. Go back two blocks, break the middle one. And place a sticky piston like that. Then you can place two blocks like this. And one block facing up. And one block facing down. <laughs> and then place a repeater here on two ticks. And a repeater here on four ticks. And a piece of rest in there. And what you want to do is place your wall here. And you also want to get some... Uh, a transparent block and place that there so you don't take damage or you can just make your thing four high and then you can also have your roof and place two blocks over here this will make it so you can't actually walk in it'll be much easier to get into the middle now what you want to do is go around the back and place blocks in the corners so you don't actually go out of the map thing type of thing and then also at the bottom you want to do the exact same thing and just place as many blocks as you can I would recommend four like I have here or five I'm gonna try five four is perfect and now if you get in and get out you'll be there and also one other thing that is super essential for this thing to work is to have um, blocks going all the way around because if you don't, the if you have a super high tower like that, it will eventually just break. But if you have blocks like this, it won't. So this is the way I like to do it. I just put um, glass like so. And uh, yeah, so now what we can do is just quickly test it get in, press the button, as you can see we go up, um, it will catch us, we can get out, walk away, we'll go down, and when we walk down, we don't take damage, and then we can just do it again, and it makes a nice sound when we, sh oh, it should make, oh yeah, there we go, just take those away, then it'll be like a note block sound. So that's about it. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. And um, tell me what you think about it, um, if there could be any improvements, if it's helped you. And um, I will see you all in the next one.